we are only six, they will always outvote us when we say, let's take the land. And when we come back to you to explain, you will say, ah, politicians, you are like that. You always explain. We are ready to take government. We can take it any time. We are not scared of anything. To run government is the simplest thing because you employ people with qualification and you pay them. It's a simple thing. You just hire qualified people and not do this mediocre of ANC of hiring a teacher of geography to be HOD of health. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. You look for the right man and the right woman for the job. Just look at the EFF. We hired a doctor to be a spokesperson. A doctor. The highest form of qualification. This journalist here, when they go to question him, they think twice. For because he's qualified more than them. They know that he knows his story. But when you hire Malambana to be a spokesperson, they will just run all over that person. Because they know this fellow is challenged. But once you hire the best of the best, we will run this PE. We can run it successfully. We would have gone into an alliance with the ANC to run PE. But we said one thing first. And South Africa doesn't seem to appreciate that. We said to the ANC, give us Mutrebisi Jonas or anything close to Mutrebisi Jonas which has got a history of fighting corruption. Right? Till today, the ANC looked inside. They even turned their back upside down. There is no one who is close to Mutebi Sijonas. Hey, you don't see that as an opportunity to expose a new dawn. That even a new dawn doesn't have a person who is corrupt free. But I sniggers away no mood. Because they checked inside there. There's no one. No one. We have exposed them that a new dawn is actually an old dawn. And it's not even in a new bottle of dawn lotion. It is in the old dawn bottle. There's nothing new about Ramaphosa. There's nothing new about the ANC. The ANC begged us. They said to us, don't give us PE, don't give us Tony, maybe Jobek. Why? Because there is no ANC, coherent ANC in Tony, in PE. They still have some remnants of something like that in Jobek. That's why they are asking for Jobek. They've said, you can take P.E. and Twan. The new Don is unable to produce the new camphor. <laughs> so there is a problem here. We have a problem. But let me tell you, we're not going to vote for Trollip. And I want Trollip to continue leading. I don't care. As long as he is leading without the mandate of the EFF. So that we can give a historical account of why we withdrew our vote. If he wins, there's no problem. There will not be a war. It's a democracy in action. Tomorrow, we must be there in our numbers to support our counselors. If anyone wins, we live peacefully to our home, but would have officially withdrawn our vote. We will not vote with them when they pass budget. 
who will not vote with them for anything until they correct the mess of the land. Because we are serious about this thing. I, I mean, even if you want me to be a good Samaritan, you want me not to get a fundamental vote from the DA and after that I must fold my arms as if nothing happened. What type of a political party is this? When you are challenged on your fundamental policies, you don't take a stand to demonstrate your seriousness. When we said these cardinal pillars are non-negotiable, we mean it. We are not playing. We told you we shall deliver free education in our lifetime. More than 100,000 kids are getting free education in this country because of the efforts of the EFF. The ANC voted with us in parliament for expropriation of land without compensation. Today they've turned against it. They say no, there is no need to amend the constitution. The constitution is clear. Why? They voted with us because they were under pressure from us. But now their white bosses say to them, Silly, why did you do what you did in parliament? <laughs> because Silly accounts to Rupert, accounts to Oppenheimers. They told him, Were you thinking? We give you all the resources to become a president. Once you become a president, you turn your back at us. I said to Cyril, we will see if you are bluffing about land expropriation without compensation. It didn't take long. Already now they are saying, ha ha, ha ha. We didn't mean expropriation. We mean land redistribution within the food parcels and what? I don't hear what they are saying. Our position is very clear. We don't want any piece of land to be paid for. Because it was taken by force. It was taken through genocide. And people say no. Uh, what about traditional leaders? We need to democratize the process of uh, traditional leaders when it comes to distribution of land in the rural areas. Because some of our traditional leaders even refuse to give women land. We cannot have that under a democratic dispensation, women must own land, men must own land, whites, whites must own land, we must own land. We have never said any white man must leave South Africa. We said to them, we are going to share according to the demographics of this country. Meaning a bigger portion will be owned by black people. No white man should leave South Africa because of us. We will never do that. Today we are told that we are a fascist organization. You know, fascists are people who kill their opponents. Fascists are those who believe in sameness. So when a leader dresses like this, all of you, when you come in here, you must dress like this. When a leader walks like this, you must all walk the same. That's what fascism is about. Any different opinion, you are not punished. You are killed. But these fascists here who are standing before you, they have voted the opposition. They have not killed the opposition. We have voted an opposition into power here in Nelson Mandela, in Joburg, in Tuan. What a new definition of fascism. That a fascist is the one that votes for opposition. That's who we are. We are fascists. A fascist in South Africa is a, an organization that goes to court to protect the powers of a public protector. That's a fascist. A fascist in South Africa is an organization that makes a corrupt president to pay back the money and step down. That's a new definition of fascism in South Africa. Because we are fascists. We are useless like that. 
A fascist is the one that says we need equal rights and opportunities in South Africa between black and white. In South Africa, a fascist is the one that says the children of the poor must go to school for free of charge. A fascist in South Africa is the one that goes and helps the truck drivers to be paid proper salaries. They say to me, you said you will kill for Zuma and then you change and then you apologize. Therefore, you are a fascist. But Ramaphosa never said he's going to kill for anyone. He said he needed and concomitant action against the workers in Marikana. They were